What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today we have got a huge Zara try on clothing haul for you. I went to the Trafford Centre the other day with Laura, literally yesterday. And I was just looking around, I wasn't, didn't go with the intention to get anything to be honest. I just thought, some of this stuff looks really, really nice, some new in stuff. So, got a decent amount of stuff and we've got nine items in this video. As always, I'll link everything in the description if you want to have a look, if you want to check anything out. And if you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like, really helps the channel out. Let's crack on. So the first item we picked up is this overshirt, overshirt jacket. I went for a size extra large. Sarah's sizing is so hit or miss, honestly. Sometimes I'm a large, sometimes I'm an extra large. So extra large in this, 49.99. Looks really nice, don't it? Let's try it on. I tell you what, guys, it's actually a really, really nice fit. Like, you guys know I'm kind of coming away from clothes being too tight now. So this is spot on, a really nice color as well. A really nice color big fan of this it's kind of like a a bit of a bluey gray but really good quality pockets as well don't have zip pockets but at least it has some form of pocket very ideal very nice it's my seeing this some of the t-shirts in there were really nice so i picked up this one size large 19.99 feels quite a nice premium cotton quite a decent material to be honest we're going to try this on and we've also got this Gilet. I know it's a little bit different in this green colour, but it's like a bit of a technical kind of vest. With this like stitching down it, it looks pretty cool. Bit of a different colour. This was 49 99 Didn't even realise it was that much. 50 quid. And size large in the vest. We'll put them on together. So the t-shirt is a proper oversized fit, you know. A like really nice length on the sleeves. If you've seen my Uniqlo haul, you would have seen I tried the u Arism oversized tee. Tell you what, this is a very similar fit to that. The quality feels really good. This one is obviously a little bit more expensive, 20 quid, but still really nice quality. I love the colour of it as well. Well, nice, isn't it, this? I'm not sure on the gilet, the vest. It's just a bit... I don't know about the colour. I did like it, but... I'm just not sure. It looks like a bit of a dodgy waistcoat. You'd see someone at the races wearing this. Yeah, I don't think it's for me, this got press stud pockets don't have zips but yeah it's not ideal i thought it looked nice on the hanger but after trying it on it's not for me so i did actually pick up two pairs of trousers two pairs of pants these are like a bit of a relaxed oversized cargo pants i'm going to try these on we'll whack it on with this t-shirt we've got as well like another oversized cream t-shirt this is proper in for this sign of season. Cream, browns, neutrals. So I'll whack this together. I also did get another pair of pants. And I tried them on for a reel that I filmed before. They're so tight. I'll try and put them on now, but honestly, the difference, they're both exactly the same size. Obviously, I know they're a different garment, but they will, won't even fasten at the waist. Like It's so tight and so hard to fasten them, whereas these are too big. And they're both a 34. It's actually mad. Zara's size and discrepancies, nothing pisses me off more than that. Proper gets to me. There needs to be like a bit of a regulation where you can't, there should be like a tolerance, you know, for each side. Anyway, let's put this together. So to be honest, I do really like them both. And I feel like the cream is a really nice tone for this season. I do really like it. The t-shirt is a really nice thick material, 25 quid. Bit of an oversized feel, but it's going to keep you warm for autumn, winter. I do like longer sleeves in t-shirts well. I think it just looks really, really nice. I hate it. You know when they dig in your armpit, when there used to be like the muscle spray on fit or whatever, they used to cap your shoulder there and then dig in your arm. I used to hate that. So a bit of extra length on the sleeve is really good. And it is a really nice thick material. I don't know if you can see it. The grade of it is well nice. Like really high quality. The cargos, I do really like them, but however, just look at the size on the waist. Like that's a 34 and I am a 34 inch waist. Like literally I measured it the other day, I'm a 34 inch waist, that's like way too big. They're like falling off me, falling off me. And I've got bigger legs than normal as well. So the length on them I'd say is a little bit short for me as well. I'm six foot two and you'd want, I'd say you want them to be a little bit longer in length. But they are supposed to be a relaxed fit. So we'll let them get away with the relaxed fit. I do like the fit and the quality of them is good as well. Pretty affordable. Just annoying about the waist. Waist is massive on them. 
So next up, we have got this long sleeve polo shirt in a nice waffle texture. This was 29.99 and I went for a size extra large in this. I'll tell you what, this is lovely, you know. Really nice fit, so not too tight again, not too loose. Nice textured waffle material. Got a nice cuff around the sleeves as well and it's actually got a bit of a cuff at the bottom. So it obviously it could be a little bit more slim fitting, like I could wear a size larger if I wanted to. But I feel like with these cargoes, it's quite a nice look. If this was a sweater, like a knitted waffle sweater, that'd be very nice as well. Yeah, kind of digging this. You know what I do need to get in my wardrobe now? I've done a massive clear out over on my Depop and Vinted. I'll link everything in the description. If you want to grab a bargain, we've got like nearly a hundred items on my Depop and Vinted. Some absolute steals over on there, but I've done a massive clear out. I've got rid of loads of stuff that I just don't wear that I've just been keeping for no reason. And I'm going to get, I feel like I need to get like a, a cream beige brown pair of trainers. Maybe like a New Balance or I don't even know what else, like a Jordan or a Dunk. Something that is like a nice neutral tone. Because I feel like it would look so nice with this outfit. I don't really have any, many trainers or shoes that would go with this look. Obviously, you've got Air Force Ones, you've got Dunks, Jordans, but I kind of want maybe a thicker, chunkier New Balance, something like that. Be nice. This is decent though, isn't it, this polo? Another long sleeve polo shirt. I do feel like a long sleeve polo is really good for the autumn winter months. Definitely. So this is a bit more oversized, I'd say. Definitely more oversized. A bit baggy, a bit of that 90s feel to this. 90s, 2000s. It is nice, don't get me wrong. I just feel like for a polo shirt, I don't want them to be too, too baggy. Like that last one was baggy enough. I feel like I want them to be a bit more of like a, a tailored, slim, regular fit even. So this one is just a bit too oversized for me. It's almost 32 99 so again, not too bad at all, but maybe I should have got a size large. But I reckon if I got a size large, you know, the size large would have been too short in my body because it's already showing. When you stretch up, you should never be able to see boxers or torso. You just shouldn't. That's a, that's a fashion fact. <laughs> in my opinion, anyway, like, just depends how long your torso is, doesn't it? The last two items we picked up, like I was saying, I got these jeans pants in a 34 waist. They're very, very tight. I'll try them on for you. I'll try and try them on for you if they fit. And then we got this nice knitted jumper, which again, it's a bit of a slimmer fit to be honest. 29.99 the jumper. The jeans were 29.99 as well. See, this is what we've got to work with here. Like I was saying before, my 34 inch waist, right? I can only just get my hands in the pockets and I can't, I can just about fasten it, but I can't do all the other buttons. That's shocking from Zara, that, that is horrible. Now I understand why all the girls complain saying they have to like, like my girlfriend Laura, honestly sometimes she'll have to get like a, a large or extra large in Zara and she's a size 10, which is mad. Like it just fucks with your head sizing, doesn't it? They need to sort it out. But yeah, the jeans are horrendous. This isn't bad, this sweater, to be honest. It's all right. Just feels a bit weird. Like the fit around the back and the neck, the shoulders here, just feels like a bit constricted, restricted. It's not the one. It's not bad, 30 quid, but I feel like you could definitely get a better jumper from somewhere else. We've got a massive H&M haul coming up soon, so I've got a couple of jumpers in there. I bet them ones will be better, definitely. I'd say it was a bit of a mixed bag, that one, wasn't it? There was some really nice pieces, like, this overshirt is so good for 50 quid. It's really, really nice. Some of the t-shirts are really nice, and I did like the brown polo shirt. I thought that was really good as well. But some other things, like the jeans, the gilet, yeah, it's just shocking. I feel like Zara is kind of like that. Some stuff is really nice, some stuff the sizing is just way off, or it just doesn't fit. But anyway... Like I said, I'll link everything in the description down below. And before we go, guys, make sure you've got the 30th of October at 7 p.m. in the diaries. We've got these premium stone sulfate t-shirts restocking along with the white premium t-shirts. These ones have probably been like the best-selling premium tees we've ever done, but I really like this colour. A really nice fit. 
and we've obviously got the cargo pants which are going to be finally dropping the brand new sulfur clothing tech stretch cargo pants in black and charcoal 30th of october 7 p.m make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that and sign up to the newsletter if you've not already i'll link the sulfur website in the description anyway guys that is it for me today enjoy the rest of your night i'll catch you on the next one see you later